Millard Fillmore, the 13th President of the United States. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the History of the United States. Today, we'll be talking about Millard Fillmore, the 13th President of the United States. Millard Fillmore was born in Lock Township, New York, in 1800. He was a member of the Whig Party, and he served as a member of the United States House of Representatives from 1833 to 1843, and as Vice President under Zachary Taylor from 1849 to 1850. Fillmore became President upon Taylor's death in 1850. He was the second Vice President to succeed to the Presidency without being elected. Fillmore's Presidency was marked by the Compromise of 1850 a series of laws that temporarily resolved the issue of slavery in the territories. Fillmore supported the compromise, but he was criticized by both abolitionists and pro-slavery advocates. Fillmore also signed the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, which required citizens to return escaped slaves to their owners. This act was also controversial, and it led to increased tensions between the North and the South. Fillmore was defeated for re-election in 1852. He retired from politics and died in 1874. Kilmore's legacy is mixed. He is often remembered as a weak and indecisive president who failed to address the issue of slavery. However, he is also seen as a pragmatist who tried to maintain the Union. Despite his flaws, there is no doubt that Millard Fillmore was a significant figure in American history. He helped to shape the country's political landscape, and his presidency had a lasting impact on the United States. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on American history. We also have videos on other topics such as world history, science, and technology. We'll see you next time.